epinephrine is more often used these days we are continuing we are rather than flogging the dopamine dobutamine sequence many of us use hydrocortisone after going to dopamine dobutamine before we go to epinephrine we don't prefer the epinephrine or epinephrine as a first line because they are very potent even a small adjustment in those may lead to a high effect and hypertension as we said before is not good for the baby so the dosing uh, 0.02 to 0.1 microgram per kilogram per minute mainly beta 1 and some beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonism so you have chronotropy and inotropy there is a modest decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance with epinephrine in more than 0.1 microgram per kilogram the alpha adrenergic receptors cause vasoconstriction so uh, more than 0.2 should not be used at any time uh, and it is equal to almost the uh, boluses that we give during the resuscitation so if you go to 0.2 microgram per kilogram per minute it's like the uh, 10 microgram per uh, kilogram dose we are giving as a bolus for the baby so that's a very high dose and we should avoid using it so as it is an inotrope with the vasopressive action it can be used with hypotension with reduced cardiac contractile function with with or without vasoplegia like septic shock or asphyxia and at a dose of 0 0.02 to 0 0.05 uh, microgram per kg per minute it may increase the cardiac output more than the systemic vascular resistance so this is a useful dose like a dobutamine like function and uh, the side effects include hyperlactatemia and hyperlysemia due to the vasoconstriction becoming more it can cause tachycardia it may increase the myocardial oxidative stress as i said it's very potent so you may not be able to predict uh, to what extent it will affect so it's very important use with caution in cardiac outflow tract obstruction like in infants of diabetic mothers so again uh, same as in dobutamine so we should not be using it as in the early doses it may cause uh, more cardiac output improvement uh, 